everyone, this is me Sadia here and I am doing your first week of August reading starting from the 1st through the 7th of August 2019. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. I've already pulled out the cards. I was pulling it on cam but uh, um, my phone started ringing so I had to pick that up. Um, but yeah, uh, before I get into the reading, let me remind you it is a general reading. It is, um, it may and it may not resonate with everyone out there so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. You can always reach out to me for a personal reading on my email id in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's get into the reading. Let's see what's coming up for you people. You do have King of Pentacles, pair up with the Two of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Underneath the deck, you do have King of Cups. Underneath that, Ace of Swords. Underneath that, Ace of Wands. Underneath that, Six of Pentacles. Underneath that, Two of Swords and the High Priestess. Um, I believe like you have changed. Either you or the person that you were dealing with has changed. Um very swiftly very like you know you were not expecting that change to come um or experience that change in their nature but you are going to be surprised you are even if it's in you or uh, if, if the change is happening within you you are going to be surprised with that maybe you are you are going to start doing the things that you never believed in uh like you know uh, being being um you know giving the charity helping the poor um uh have a soft corner for everybody else around you and it's it's something that happened um very like you know out of nowhere you were not expecting that change to happen maybe you know if you are one of those who would never help the poor one on the streets like you know if they if they come i'm talking about the beggars if they come and you would always feel like you know i don't want i don't feel like you know helping them because they don't deserve it um it's it's just their business or it's kind of uh, you know stuff like that um your thoughts around that is also going to change. You are going to help them out of uh, um, out of your generosity. You have become more kind to the humankind, human beings. Um, you are going to be more um, giving. You are going to be more. Um, you are going to be more. Uh, you know. A, I don't know, you, for some of you, you might pick up a profession that too involves some sort of social work is what I'm picking up. And that is all going to happen for you within, within you know, within no time. Um, it could be like, you know, you, uh, for some of you, you might have that guidance coming through for you in, in your dreams. For others of you, you might go through some sort of, um, you know, um, experiences in your life which is going to change your outlook. Uh, of the world and your how how your life should be lived so something is going to change or some for some of you i believe the change has already happened the the way the, you see things has already changed and now uh, it has changed you as a person you have you are more uh open to open to your uh, you know um you are more sensitive and open to others needs and desires as well you are more cooperative you are more kind you are more generous you are more you know somebody who you know, um, judge along well with people. Um, I really you were not like that. I'm picking up, um, and everything that has changed in you is is going to bring you lots of happiness, lots of abundance. People are going to look up to you for help. People are going to be. Um, It's more like I'm picking up, you are going to help so many people. I don't know why I'm picking up that energy very strongly. It's, um, but having said that, when, when you are helping people around you who are in need, be mindful of the people who are not in need, but they can, you know, take advantage of your goodness. You, they can take advantage of your kindness. So be mindful of those kind of people around you as well. Um, I am thinking of that, you know, um, as soon as you have that change in you, as soon as you experience that, you know, um, um, transformation for yourself, um, you are going to, I don't know, I'm taking a very sensitive soul kind of energy here. It's, it's, you are going to become very sensitive. Um, like I said, be mindful of that uh, of the fact that you know it is um somebody or some people around you can take advantage of that nature so just be mindful of that you have to be a certain way with a certain people or certain group of people so be mindful of those kind of people around you uh, let me pull cards for your love life because i don't pick up the energy around your love life at all i do see you changing yourself um and that change is going to change you forever it's um 
for some of you it could be a breakup that changed you for some of you it could be a you know trauma that you went through or you see uh, or you recently seen somebody going through a trauma which has changed your perspective of your you know how a life should be lived so there is going to be some sort of change happening and uh, the change is going to bring you the change is going to bring you everything it's it's like you know it's it's going to open up no new doors for you you are going to have lots of opportunities you are going to have um like i said maybe for some of you you are going to either you know get into the social work uh, business maybe like you know uh, you might start something which is going to be helpful for the people like you know maybe you are going to start some sort of um, uh, you know um I don't know. I just see you service, you know, providing services to the people in need. But at the same time, you you have to be mindful of the fact that there are people who are not needy, but they would still take advantage of you. So if that's how you want it to be, let it be. But if you really don't want um, people take you for granted or misuse your kindness, be mindful of that. That you have to be very careful with those kind of people around you. Uh, let me put some cards for your love life. I don't know. I don't see a person who is married, who is uh, committed, who is in a relationship here. Because th there is this one person's energy I'm picking up. There is no other person in their love life right now is what I'm picking up. Or maybe for this person, whoever this person is, who is kind and generous now, who was not kind and generous before, or who was not uh, open or sensitive to other people's needs, desires, and dreams, um, this person is now changed. They are now opening up to the... Uh, to the, to the um, to the to the other ways of living and i believe that you know uh, whoever this person is they they are too um focused on helping people that they don't want to think of their love life they are too focused on what they are doing right now for the for the well-being of the people around them so let's see about you know uh what's coming up for their love life what's coming up for the sign of fairies for their love life oops wow there's so many cards but I'm not going to include them. I can see lots of cards. Um, maybe for some of you, your wish around the love love didn't get fulfilled. Uh, that has changed because that a wish fulfillment card came upside down. So maybe something has happened in your love life. Like I said, for when, uh, for uh, for what reason you have kind of you know uh, changed um, you know um, from this person to the to the person that you are now. Um, you might be very. Um, for some of you, I'm picking up that energy very strongly with the King of Swords here. Uh, somebody who's very arrogant, and now you are no more arrogant because you have, you know, uh, you have uh, been through a, uh, you know, rejection. You somebody rejected you, and now you feel like you know you are more grounded now because of that. You always felt that you are somebody very special, but now since you went through this, and that has kind of you know uh, initially that was a traumatizing situation for you, but now you realize that. Um, if they rejected you, it was because of your own self. It, it was because you were arrogant, you were egoistic, maybe or you were, you know, um, valuing yourself more than them. So maybe that's the reason why you got rejected. Might be, might be the, and that might be the cause of your, um, your transformation that you, that happened uh, within, a, within a day or two. Like, you know, you thought about it and you felt like, you know, um, I was doing it wrong all the way. So maybe that is something that is going to change you. But something is going to happen for you which is going to change you completely. But the change is going to be very positive. So it's all good. As long as the outcome is good, you should be happy and thankful for it. Whatever happened has changed you for better. So let's see what's coming for your love life. Whatever has been, has been. Let's see what's coming up for you in the future for your love life. There is definitely some sort of disappointment around your love life. But, like I said, what have, whatever has been, has been. So just let it be. Um, learn from the lesson. I believe you have already learned it. And now you're ready to move on with your life. Um, being the kindest person alive on the earth maybe because that is the energy around you around this person a happy soul a kind soul is what i'm picking up so yeah your life is going to go on a on a, a smooth sailing from now onwards so just be mindful of that and just just uh for those of you who are still like you know um for some of you you might have already experienced this for others of you you might be going through the same thing right now maybe you are experiencing that kind of uh 
and be mindful of the fact too that you know it is a general reading the energies could be uh, coming from the person that you are dealing with maybe they are very you know um, arrogant and stuff like that and maybe you are the one who is going to leave them because um, they or you might have kind of left them because they were they were not uh, they were not kind and generous to you they were egoistic they were bad uh, in uh, as as in as in their nature their attitude towards was towards you and other people was you know very rude so that person is definitely going to change and now um, but i i don't see like you know you, it might resonate with the cross watchers the the thing that that i just mentioned but um i am picking up that this person has changed now and um they do look back and regret their uh, the way they were living their life uh, then but the good thing is they are now looking forward and they are going to stay focus on what they are doing in their in their life right now um when it comes to their love life i do see they are going to you know since they have learned the lesson they are going to not in this week i don't see that happening in this week but you are going to um being the person that you are now you are definitely going to be blessed with you know with somebody very um kind and generous in your love life as well so it, but this is not the time right now so you may, you might meet somebody new you might kind of you know um go back to the ex person of yours or whatever but i don't see that person's energy right now but yeah your love life is going to go smoother uh, as you walk into the you know maybe the next week or the uh, week after that so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for the first week of august 2019 if the reading resonates with you to like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you people take care bye bye